Good morning. Wherever you are today, and however you are, let us spend the next few minutes together with God. My name is Pat, and I am talking with you from Birkenhead, England. And today, October the 9th, is the feast of John Henry Newman, who, as I'm sure you all know, was born into the Anglican faith and became a clergyman. He converted in, nine, in 1845 to the Catholic faith and became an ordained priest in 1847. He was canonized by Pope Francis in October 2019. As he was very closely associated with the University of Oxford uh, and was a prolific writer, his feast day was chosen to be the 9th of October as this was the start of university. He is considered to be the patron saint of students. So today I wish to pray particularly for students. I also pray that we are all daily converted to our faith, as to be converted is to be transformed, to turn with and to God. I'm taking the reading today from the psalm it is Psalm 111, which describes our covenant with God. With all my heart, I will thank the Lord in the assembly of his people. How wonderful are the things the Lord does. All who are delighted with them want to understand them. All he does is full of honor and majesty. His righteousness is eternal. The Lord does not let us forget his wonderful actions. He is kind and merciful. He provides food for those who honor him. He never forgets his covenant. He has shown his power to his people by giving them the lands of foreigners. In all he does, he is faithful and just. All his commands are dependable. They last for all time. They were given in truth and righteousness. He set his people free and made an eternal covenant with them. Holy and mighty is he. The way to become wise is to honor the Lord. He gives sound judgment to all who obey his commands. He is to be praised forever. It's a very short psalm. I love it because it sets out that God set his people free and made an eternal covenant. A covenant though is two way. He has redeemed us by sending his son, Jesus. Our part is to honour the Lord, to obey his commands, to praise him forever, and to spread his love and joy, his word, wherever we are, by our actions. So today, let us just pray about our relationship with God, that we continue to believe in him and to honour him. Again, it is obviously still the month of October, so let us stay, just take our prayers to Mary, our mother in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Thank you for being with me today, and I hope you have a good day wherever you are.